Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow who? Hey everyone. I was listening to a podcast the other day. It's called Back to Work by uh, Merlin Mann and Dan Benjamin on the 5x5 network. I've listened to them for, it feels like forever. I was checking uh, how long I'd actually been listening to them. They're up to their 319th episode. That's the episode that I was listening to. That's over six years worth of podcasts on a weekly basis. It's just amazing. They were answering a listener's question about um, interrupting. You know when you're um, moving around the office of your person who, who works in an office and uh, you're moving around, you might be going to get a cup of tea, you're going to the printer, just finish some work and then someone comes, oh yeah, Bob, by the way, I meant to ask you, someone interrupts you and they've got a question for you. So you're sort of taken out of the space that you were in, whatever space that was, maybe on the way to the printer or on the way from a meeting or something, and they ask you a question and you've got to kind of think about the answer and it might be it's usually a work question and you know you're kind of pulled out of where you are and the the listener was um asking how to handle those sorts of things and um I realized as I was listening to that that I'm the interrupter I do this all the time hey Mark yeah just why are you making a cup of tea maybe I could ask you about these access requests or or you know oh Fraser every five minutes he's a colleague of mine and I'm just like interrupting him all the time and to be fair they're all polite and they all answer but I'm interrupting them I'm the interrupting cow I'm mooing I'm the one who's doing that so listening to my listening to this podcast I was the culprit so it was very interesting to listen to some of the things that Merlin in particular had to say about this issue. His ideas of things to um, counteract the interrupting cow that he gave people also work for the interrupting cow, Mo, me, to maybe stop me from doing this to my poor, polite colleagues. So one of the things he suggested was if it was important enough to ask the question, then it's important enough to schedule it in your calendar. Maybe that's going to be schedule a phone call, schedule a Skype meeting, um, schedule a Slack conversation even. Maybe even if it's more complicated than that half an hour in a meeting room. Something if it's important enough to interrupt someone else's day, it's important enough to schedule in the calendar. And if it's not in your calendar, it doesn't happen. I'm not sure if I'm that strict or could be that strict, but that's a really good point. It made me think that maybe I could be, if I have a bunch of questions, I could write them down. I'm a big user of system cards, so maybe I could keep a system card and I could just write my questions down and then schedule an appropriate amount of time with that person to answer those questions. Oh my God, that's so simple and I'm sure that Mark and Fraser and the rest of my poor interrupted colleagues would really appreciate that. Do you have an annoying vice at work? Or maybe you don't, but you have people who annoy the crap out of you. Leave something in the comments below. Let me know what your annoying vice is or what your colleagues' annoying vice is. I'd love to hear that I'm not the only one out there being an interrupting cow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Moo.